Hey, it's Lori, and I got some stuff ready for the crock pot. Uh, I got the beef roast in there right now. I didn't brown it first or anything. I just put it in there with Montreal steak seasoning, and that's just going to have to do because I'm not browning it. I've got some potatoes peeled, and I also have this rutabaga that I'm going to put in. I don't know if it's all going to fit in the crock pot, but we're going to try. I'll put rutabaga over on one side. And potatoes over on the other side. Scoot over. Come on now. I don't have time to mess around. I gotta get ready for work. <laughs> yeah, it's not all gonna fit because I still have carrots. I'm getting my other crock pot out. Okay, so there was actually two roasts there. So I put one of the smaller one in this smaller crock here. My other crock pot thing is sitting over there. And I'm just going to throw the rutabaga in this one, I think. Oh, if I can get a hold of it this morning, <laughs> that would be all right. Okay, I'll throw that in there. Let's get this over a little. I know I'm touching everything, but it's all right. My hands will wash, and I'll throw the potatoes in this one. And I've got carrots that I got ready last night. Throw the carrots in, and I think I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper around on the veggies. Right, I got my hands all washed up now, so put a little bit of salt and pepper on the veg. Put the rest of that rutabaga in. I didn't put it all in the first time because I really didn't think it was all going to fit, but it really didn't fit. So there we go. Get a nice amount of pepper on that rutabaga. Why? Because that's how I like it. <laughs> that's how I like it. Okay. That should be good. I should have threw down a couple of bouillon cubes in this one too. Oh, well, there's plenty of fat on that meat. All right, so we're going to go on about our day, and we'll come back in several hours from now and take a look at these. Hey, it's Lori, and I'm going to take you along with me today through my day. So, as usual, thanks in advance for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. And I have all kinds of stuff with me. I have a doctor's appointment today to go over my blood work and see what the results of my blood tests were. I decided I'm going to put the results and talk about, like some more information about what's been going on with me and why I actually went to the doctor. Um, well, it's not why I actually went because I did go, you know, because of my blood pressure and stuff like that, but there's more to it. So I was going to go a little bit more into detail about that. And I feel comfortable doing that. Um, I, I just didn't want to blabber on about, well, this has been wrong with me and that's been wrong with me. And, oh, I just feel like blah, 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 blah. I don't know. It's just not me to sit and complain about stuff. So, um, yeah. So I've got all kinds of stuff with me. Like I have this notebook here that I had written down all the things that I was going to tell the doctor about. And I thought, well, let me grab this notebook and then I can write on a different page. I can write like whatever he says today. Cause I'll forget half of it. And then I realized there's only one sheet or is there two? There might be two sheets of paper left. <laughs> Yeah, there's two sheets of paper left in it, but not that that's a big deal. And I have like all kinds of cards with me today. I have one note to myself. I have my card for the day, like my Friday card, because today is Friday as I'm recording. I have my log that I've been writing down my blood pressure on. And um, I have some notes that I want to tell the doctor about and some questions I want to ask him. So yeah, I've got all kinds of cards and I brought my little calendar with me this time because I did not have that with me before when I was at the doctor. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I wish I would have my schedule with me so I can make my appointment easier. Oh, and I also brought my my blood pressure meds because I don't know if it makes me feel bad throughout the day if I take them in the morning. But, man, I felt like crap the other day. So I'm like, I'm going to start taking them in the afternoon. And since I've been doing that, I've been feeling a little better. So I'm going to talk to him about that, too. 
I don't know if it, he said it shouldn't matter what time of the day I take them. Oh, and I also brought a bunch of egg cartons because I'm on my way right now to the, the job where they they give me eggs all the time. And in this, so with, um, with some of the things that I saw on the app before talking to the doctor, I, before talking to the doctor, I don't want to go into a lot of detail here, but I will do that in my in my health update video in the separate video that I do. Um, so yeah, I'm bringing some nuts with me and I'm also bringing, <laughs> this is just a little bit of Swiss cheese I had left and I threw some bacon in there with it too because <laughs> I need to eat a little something. Uh, the intermittent fasting that I usually do and you know what, I just do it naturally because I don't I don't ever eat throughout the day. I am, hold on. But I never eat throughout the day. I always just eat later. I just do it comes naturally to me. Well, I can't do that right now. So, and we'll talk, like I said, we'll talk more about that later. I need to eat something throughout the day, even if I'm not hungry. So yeah, I've been doing that and I've been feeling a little bit better doing that. So <laughs> you're probably thinking, what's she even jabbering on about? Cause I haven't given you a lot of details, but like I said, check out the other video and, and I will give you all the details in that video. Okay. I'm off to my job, so I'm going to get off of here and just concentrate on my driving, get to my job, get back with you in a little bit. Done with job number one and I'm on my way to job number two, but in between time, I have to run out to the school. I'm not even in my hometown right now. I have to go home, go out to the school and drop off this envelope to Hayden that I put together while I was in there. I grabbed an envelope from their, uh, their box and I put some money in there because he needs money. He's got a track meet tonight and he needs money for McDonald's because they're stopping at McDonald's. I didn't even know that. Last year we had a list of stuff like that and they didn't do that this year. And last year I volunteered, like I signed up on the thing to bring in snacks and drinks for one of the track meets for for the team and it's like they didn't even do that at all this year so i'm not sure how they're doing it but he needs money so i sent him uh he took his lunch his regular lunch in his lunch box but we have a backup lunch box in case he like leaves us at school or something so we use that backup lunch box which is a darth vader lunch box by the way so i need to get him a new a new backup lunch box but well anyway yeah, so we filled that backup lunchbox with like drinks and snacks and I put shoved an ice pack in there. I could barely get that thing zipped, so oh my goodness. Anyway, yeah, I guess they're gonna stop at McDonald's after the track meet. I'm not completely surprised. I guess I should have probably inquired about that ahead of time myself because the track meet is two hours away and I can't go. I, w I wouldn't go anyway, honestly, if it was two hours away. Well, since it's two hours away, I should say, just because that's a lot of driving. That's four hours of driving time to go and watch him run a couple of races and do a high jump. <laughs> and I'm not trying to sound bad. I'm really not. But I would barely even make it in time to probably see one of the events. I probably wouldn't even get there in time. In fact, since I have the doctor's appointment today, which I'm not going to change, <laughs> I know I wouldn't make it there in time. But And this track meet um, is not on the schedule. So it was kind of an add-on thing. It's an invite that they, they just they just got invited to. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Yeah, so I have to run out to the school and drop that money off, then zip to my other job, and I thought I was making good time. Dang God. Oh, well, that's all right. I don't want him to go to McDonald's and either have to borrow money from somebody or have the coach buy him a cheeseburger or something or have him not eat at all when everybody else is eating. You know, I mean, if I had realized it, I would have sent him money, you know, ahead of time, obviously. But anyway, yeah, so that was a long story to tell you. I got to stop at the school and drop off an envelope, wasn't it? Ugh. All right. There's some deer standing here and I'm trying to watch to see what they're going to do. I'm going really slow. second job's done. I'm going to head up to my doctor's appointment now and I'm going to be kind of early. I'll have to decide when I get closer or when I get up that way. 
because it's about a 30 minute drive something like that depending on traffic and like right now there's a train so I'm gonna have to wait for that thing or go around actually I'm just gonna go around now and go to the highway but yeah so I'll decide if I'm gonna stop at Costco before I go to my doctor's appointment because I'm gonna run into Costco and grab uh, a package of toilet paper I'm gonna get that and uh, some mayonnaise. I want some of that. Oops, windows down as usual. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, I want some of the avocado mayonnaise and I am not paying the high dollar price that they want for it, like at Walmart or Meyer or wherever other grocery stores. I am just not. It's ridiculously expensive. So I'm gonna get it at Costco because I know they have it there. And they have other kinds that are the avocado mayo, like Hellman's and Great Value. Um, I don't know, maybe there's a Meyer brand. Whatever, there's different brands that have the avocado mayo, but they're, they're not. I mean, you might as well just use regular mayo if I'm being honest, because they have other stuff in it, sugar and, you know, just stuff that I don't want right now. I just wanna make the switch to the avocado mayo, because I make my own salad dressing. And I'd like to make it with better mayo. So, cause that's, that's how I make my salad dressing is, it's like coleslaw dressing. That's basically what it is. I don't even know if I mentioned that I was gonna go to Costco today at all in this video. Well, I have now. <laughs> I've mentioned it now. Oh, and what else is on my list? Gosh, I can't remember. I was gonna, I was gonna do a Walmart pickup order today, but I decided not to because I might just do that in the morning. I might schedule one for in the morning but I still have to go inside. I just don't want to, I don't feel like going inside and doing my shopping. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, and I don't need very much. I just need a couple things or a couple, more than two, but yeah, maybe, maybe 10 things. I don't know. Anyway, does it really matter right now? No, <laughs> uh, but I need to go inside because I'm going to get a gift card because April is birthday month. April is birthday month around here. So, yeah, April 1st was Braven's birthday, April 6th is Josh, and as I'm recording, that's tomorrow. So if that gives you any idea of how far behind I am on editing, there you go. But man, I'm doing my best to catch up. I really am. I promise I am. So, anyway, yeah, April 6th is Josh. Okay, wait, let me start over. April 1st is Braven, April 6th is Josh. April 20th is Courtney, April 25th is Brendan, and April 26th is Hayden. We used to have my aunt in there too, April 13th, and that made it Josh exactly one week later, my Aunt Sherry exactly one week later, and Courtney, so, yeah. And my Aunt Sherry, you gotta understand, she was like a sister to me, so. Buddy, what are you doing putting your brakes on like that? They still haven't turned. They put their brakes on really hard and put their signal on at the last second. I, I thought they were going to turn at the last second, but they didn't. Anywho, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, now I'm completely distracted by that. So I'm just going to get off here and concentrate on my driving like I should be. Okay. And I just wanted to mention, too, that... Right here next to me, I have this baggie with bacon and that hunk of cheese. And I'm going to eat that on my way, on my way up to the doctor. So, like I said before, if you saw my health update video or I went to the doctor or after however many years, <laughs> I can't remember what the title is, but anyway. In that video, I mentioned that Costco was right across the street from the doctor's office, so... Yeah, that's the reason why I figured I would just stop into Costco today and pick up some TP and, you know. Oh, and I have eggs on my list too, but they have a question mark next to them because I wasn't sure if the people I worked for this morning, I wasn't sure if they were going to give me eggs or not, but they didn't this time. So I am probably going to pick up some eggs while I'm there. If they're too expensive, if they're too expensive, I'm just going to get them at Walmart. I don't know, I've never gotten eggs at Costco before because I always thought they were pricey. But I'll look at the price and then I'll check my app, my Walmart app, and see what the price is there and compare. And it seemed like there was something else. I really think there was four things. Toilet paper, mayo, Propel. Propel. 
Peyton went through all of his Propel water, so I'm going to go ahead and get him another case. He didn't ask for it or anything, but I'm going to go ahead and get it for him anyway because he's been taking it with him like for his track, and we'll take him take it to school to drink. They're allowed to have a drink in class, so in their classroom. So we'll take that sometimes. Sometimes he does his. Um, he hasn't been using his Gatorade bottle that has the things on. I can't remember what that thing's called. The one that has the flavor stuff that, that you use. And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so stinking excited about this. But I'm so excited. I made my hair appointment with my old hairstylist. She's coming back. Ah, I did mention that in a different video, but she moved out of state and I was devastated when she moved because I love her and she's coming back. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So in a couple of weeks, she's going to do my hair just like I like it. <laughs> I'm not even going to have to tell her what to do. She's just going to do it. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Let me stop jabbering and I think I'm going to listen to a little bit of music. I've been listening to this trial, the jury selection for this trial, and that's so, so boring. I can just listen to a recap later instead of listening to that for eight or nine hours. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to listen to some music. Oh, I need my bacon and cheese. So I have about 40 minutes before I need to be at my doctor's appointment. So I'm going to go ahead and run into Costco. That's plenty of time because I'm not doing a big shop. I'm just picking up four things, four specific things, and that's it. So I'm just going to go ahead and run in now and get that done. Okay, I'm done at Costco and I've got about... I have 14 minutes. I almost had to get out my fingers to count that high. <laughs> I got 14 minutes till my doctor's appointment, so I'm gonna go ahead and head over there. I grabbed the bath tissue and some propel. I grabbed Hayden some, if you can see it right there. I'm pushing my arm over so I can reach around that far to park, to, to park, my God, to point to those knockoff Gatorades, the Kirkland brand ones. My goodness. All right, well, I've got my little wallet receipt, sign up for Fetch Rewards, and use my code. <laughs> it's in the description box down below. And I will go ahead and put the QR code on the screen if you're not already signed up. Okay, enough of that, and I'm gonna go ahead over to my doctor's appointment. Hey, I kind of like this background. <laughs> I'm just sitting here waiting for the doctor to come in. She just took my blood pressure and it was pretty good. 120 over 80. Can you believe it? I can't believe it because that's not what it was this morning. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just sitting here with my notes and my notebook and got my pen here. Well, I almost dropped it. Yeah, sitting here on this paper covered table thing. But yeah, I'm gonna get off here before he walks in while I'm sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> Doctor's appointment's done, I'm home, and he gave me different meds. Got different meds here. Um, the ones he gave me, he said based on my numbers and what I had to report back to him with. <laughs> based on that, he said I was uh, actually had too high of a dose. So it's actually, it's working a little too fast. So, and, and it's not even like, my numbers aren't even perfect right now. But he said it's coming down a little faster than he wants it to be. And that would be why I'm having some symptoms that are not pleasant. <laughs> Feeling like crap. Yep, and I have dinner in the crock pot. Hopefully it's not overcooked. Roast with potatoes and carrots in one crock pot. And the other crock pot has roast with rutabaga and carrots. I already showed you that, didn't I? <laughs> One of my symptoms is serious brain fog, like more than usual. So we'll get into that. <laughs> we'll get into that in the other video but with my whole update on everything that we talked about at the doctor and all the complaints that I have about how I've been feeling lately. <laughs> we'll get into that at a different time. But yeah, um, I didn't call anybody, but let's see. Josh is not here. I don't, I don't even know if anybody's here. Hayden's at a track meet. Josh and Brendan aren't here. 
I assume Chase is here, but sometimes he takes his after work nap and he might be napping right now because it's later. I'm getting home a little bit later than usual. So anyway, I'm not bringing this stuff in. I'm going to tell somebody else to come. They'll be home eventually. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take a look at those crock pots and see what they're looking like now. I haven't looked inside the crock pots yet, but the second I walked in the door, I was like, "Woo! <laughs> smell that smell. I can smell the rutabaga over top of everything else. That's, that's okay with me, but that's not okay with just everybody. I don't think my boys probably came in and thought, oh my God, what is she making? <laughs> oh, yeah, but I think it smells good because I know what it is, but they might not. It smells a lot like cabbage, if I'm being honest, but let's, let's take a look at the crock pots. Okay. Let me turn it. I'm just going to turn it all the way off, I think. All right. I'm going to get some steam. Oh, it's sizzling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one that has the aroma wafting, <laughs> wafting out now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, those are going to be super done. Let me get a fork. Very, very done. They're not too bad. I was afraid the carrots were going to be kind of like mush. But hopefully the meat's nice and tender down there. Oh, look at that. Look at that broth. Let me see. Look at that broth in there. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, look at that. That meat is nice and tender. Okay. Let's take a look at the other one over here. I'll turn my turn my lights on, my little button right there. Ooh, yeah. Let there be light. Okay. Soft. Now this one smells like a roast <laughs> with potatoes. No, they're not mush. Good. That's the only thing I was worried about. Well, let's see. Look at all that broth, you guys. Oh, let me just stick a fork in, twist it. Look at that. Oh yeah. That, that is looking amazing. I'm actually gonna turn this one down. Oh, it's already on warm. Yeah, this one turns down to warm automatically. So I had it on high for, um, did I have it on high for eight hours? I might have. <laughs> I, yeah, I probably did. Okay. Well, I just got done telling you all about this crock pot and I wasn't even, I wasn't even recording. But this is a Pioneer Woman crock pot and I put it on warm. Warm is clear over here, but you know, this is, so off is right here if you can see it. Let me see if I can adjust my light. That might be a little better. But off is right here. Low is right here. High is right here. And warm is right here. Now, wouldn't you think it would be off, warm, low, high? That's what would make sense to me, but it's not how it is, so. <laughs> but it's on warm now. Here's what I ended up getting at Costco besides this mayo. The Chosen, food, Chosen Foods Classic Mayo with 100% pure avocado oil. And this is the ingredients. If, oh gosh, is it going to focus? All right, I think it's focused right there. So pause it right there where I just had it <laughs> if you want to see the ingredients. But that's what I wanted. It was like $9 and something, nearly $10. This I got to use on a charcuterie board that I'm making. And here's some uh, mixed nuts and a couple of reasons. I'm going to throw some of those on that charcuterie board I was just telling you about. And I'm going to eat some. <laughs> it sounded good. And I went ahead and grabbed the eggs there too. The 24 pack, I got two of them. And you know what? I didn't even check to see if they were a better value than uh, Walmart because I didn't even take my phone in with me. It's like, well, you ding dong. You were going to check those eggs. Oh, well, that's all right. I have the eggs. I don't think they were too much different than Walmart's price. So if there were more, it was just by a few cents. So it's no big deal. And if you notice that balloon hanging right there, I don't remember if I said anything about the balloon hanging there before or not. If I've done a video in this spot <laughs> since we put the balloon there, but the balloon's there because Sylvester does not like balloons and he kept hopping up on the countertop when I had food on it the other day. So we hung a balloon there. It's totally harmless and it works. So yeah. And yes, I did change my clothes. I put on my, I put on my, uh, baggy shirt and 
a big baggy sweatshirt too. Big and baggy. And it is comfy. It's kind of chilly in here, so yeah. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.